Mina-san, or karina Sai. Today, another underrated seiyu. Someone with a great amount of roles, but someone I feel no one really talks about. Kaede Hondo, born March 6, 1996, in Nagoya within the Aichi Prefecture. Currently affiliated with I Am Enterprise. She had an interest in anime from a young age, in particular the Naruto series. She became interested in acting and modeling after her fifth year of elementary when a woman came up to her saying she has a face that goes well with makeup. Not immediately knowing what that meant, she did some research on her own and came to believe that she was told her face was suitable for an actress or a model. She would then start auditioning for various acting and modeling jobs, but she did not initially consider voice acting as an option, mostly because her main desire was to perform in front of people. When she got into high school, she joined her school's theater club. In her third year, one of her instructors was a radio personality, and her experiences with them and the club influenced her to decide to become a voice actor. In pursuit of this career, she enrolled at the Japan Narration Actor Institute. After completing their training, she became affiliated with the voice acting agency I Am Enterprise. 2015 is where her journey begins, debuting with a named character though very, very supporting. Yuka in Aoharu Machine Gun. But this wasn't her only role, as in the fall she had a bunch of characters. Melissa in Diabolic Lovers Season 2, Tomoko in Noragami's second season, and Mionori in Heavy Object. But also two leads, Kokoro Yotsuba in the children's show Kami-sama Minarai, and Kukuru Nonomoto in the short series Magical Samurai-chan. That was a very impressive first year, I'd say. But in her second year, 2016, she actually has the most amount of roles she's ever had in her whole career. Let's start off with some leads. Kazane Alba in Keijo, Yai Kugayama in Girlish Number, and Yuin Shou Estera in Regalia the Three Sacred Stars. But she also had Aiko Umezawa in Danganronpa 3, Hiroshi Take in Shonen Maid, Maria in Season 2 of Asterisk War, Natita Swanson in Bubuki Baranki, and Lucy Lagasa in 91 Days. That's only about half of her 18 roles this year. Moving on to 2017, let's start off with Chitose Haruna in Fuka, the sequel to Suzuka, Kanan Kogame in Battle Girl High School, and Miku Kenjo in Kira Kira Precure, Minoa Asagaya in Anime Gatari, and Hikari Takanashi in Interviews with Monster Girls. Smaller year for her. Next is 2018, where she got a pretty big role for herself, Kanami Eto, the main character of Katana Maidens, where she would also perform in live action as a character. Another few leads would be Koyume Koizuka in Comic Girls, Kohaku Tsukishiro in Irodoku, The World in Colors, and the baby version of Mirai Ota in the movie Mirai of the Future. There is another lead for this year, but we'll get there in a minute. For now, she was the very lovely Hitome Mishima in Hinamatsuri, a show I really highly recommend. Mikari Izumi Gamine in Magical Girl Sight, Shio Ikawa in Strike the Blood Season 3, and Nia Pomara in Boarding School Juliet. Now for my favorite role of hers, another one that's really important to her, Sakura Minamoto, the main character of Zombieland Saga, where she also performs in live action with Fran Shushu. 2019, she was in some pretty popular shows. First, being Shigeru Kamado in Demon Slayer, then Koronako and Nezumi in Beastars, and Elizabetta in Welcome to Demon School Iruma-kun. Then she's got some leads, Natsuki Saotome in Bad Love, Mizuha Kiryu in Henski, and Senpai in Magical Senpai. Funny enough, all three of these shows have openings sang by some of my favorite people, those being Ida, Hashi, and Iris, respectively. That's not all though, as at the 13th Sea Awards, Honda was one of the winners of the Best New Actress Award, Tomoriru actually also being one of the winners here. 2020, everyone's favorite year, though this was the year with the least amount of new roles for her. But again, I'd say these were some good characters and good shows. First, we have Haruka Konoe, Kanata's little sister in Love Live Nijigasaki. There's also Ryo Igarashi in If My Favorite Pop Idol Made It to the Budokan, I Die. It's a really whack name, but it's a really fun show. Next are some leads, Hibiki Higaromo in Data Bullet, a spin-off to Data Live, Mamori Amamiya in Shadowverse, and Alena in Wandering Witch Alena. Another really good show, honestly. 2021, Tamako Doi in a new season of Yuki Yuna, Peach, another Beastars character, Laika in I've Been Killing Slimes for 300 Years and Maxed Out My Level, Hifumi Ajitani in Blue Archive, and Hana Yurikawa in Meroko-chan, co-starring with Sora Amamiya, someone she'd become good friends with. Ayaneru is also one of the leads, but I never really saw her in the streams with them. Some smaller roles would be Akira Komi in Komi-san Can't Communicate, Haruka in Wonder Egg Priority, and Shion Oragi in Osamake. Stellar cast here. This year, she also began her Kaede Hondo's Oshigotra radio show, which she is still doing to this day. You can find it on the Seiyu Grand Prix YouTube channel, but there's no subtitles, unfortunately. 2022, for the most part, she was just in new seasons of old shows, Kakaru in Kotaro Lives Alone, and Yasuko Nawashiro in a Kebi Sailor uniform. Then she has three leads, Echidna in I'm Quitting Heroing, Miyako Godai in Dance Dance Dancer, Charlotte Solar in Parallel Pharmacy, and finally Aiko Tsukimi in Yaboi Kang Ming amazing. Finally, her first photo book, Mute. 
This year of 2023, she was in a short series called Space Idol, which already finished airing. And she is currently in the Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World as Clarice Cleveland, and the reincarnation of the strongest alchemist in another world as Fiona Ud Algrif. In the summer, she will voice the licorice Fubaraku in a sweet reincarnation. And at some point this year, no release date yet, she will be in the Color Malice movie as Ichika Hoshino. The same character Haruki Iwata and Moika Koizumi portray in live action plays. I don't know why neither of them are voicing her, but I digress. I very sadly digress. Let's move on to the video games. She has a little over 30 credits. The Usuals, Drogalia Lost, Magia Record, Kantai Collection, Grand Blue Fantasy, Ark Knights, and Azir Lane. Then there are the games that have anime she voices in, Battle Girl High School, Yuki Yuna, Love Live, and Blue Archive. Also anime she's not in, like ReZero, A Certain Magical Index, and Tsukihime. She's also in Melty Blood, Onsen Masume, and Alchemy Stars. Finally, there are two more popular games, like voicing Fiona in Dead or Alive Extreme Venus Vacation, and more recently, Aoi Shibuya in Digimon Survive. I'm actually also going to mention she voices the lead character Ferris in the console game Atelier Ferris, also being the same character in Atelier Lydia and Sueli. Concerts would include, well, only the four Fanshushu lives as far as I can see, though over the years she has been a member of many Seiyu Idol units. I'm going to try to cover them nice and fast. The group she's not a part of anymore are Harukaze Hikotai, related to the anime The Magnificent Kotobuki, a group called FF, tied to Battle Girl High School. With Kaori Ishihara, she was a duo called Two For All for the miniseries Monster Sonic Dardagon's Rise to Fame. But again with Kaori, she's part of Cham Jam from the series If My Favorite Idol Made It to the Budokan. There's Gatalis related to anime Gatalis, Lush Star from Ansu Masume, Labyrinth from Urara Maroko, and Girlish Number from Girlish Number. Currently, Kaede is in Mischievous Straight for the Game Blue Archive and she's in Robot Academy Year 1 Class 3 for the show Akebi Sailor Uniform. I would assume that she has sang live with at least one of these groups. And of course, she has sang many themes for the show she's been in, first singing both openings and endings of Zombieland Saga, both seasons, as well as Comic Girls, Girlish Number, and Katana Maidens. Then just the openings of Arara Maroko, Chiyo's School Road, the Katana Maidens chibi spinoff, and If My Favorite Idol Made It to the Budokan. Finally, just the endings for Keijo, Blood Love, and Megatari, and Kamisama Minarai. Every single one of these songs, she sings with the cast, not singing a single song solo. Time for some facts about her. Ade chan is 152 centimeters, or just under 5 foot, and on the socials, she only has a Twitter. So as I'm sure you just heard me say, her nickname is Ade, which is just the ending of her first name. The absolute definition of a nickname right there. She likes spicy things, especially Tabasco sauce and spicy ramen. Though she is not good at cooking, but that's because she prefers the buy prepared food rather than waste time in a kitchen. She likes bright colors and unique clothing, and has a dog named Lily. Also, she has a license and even owns a car. For most of her professional career, she had shorter hair, but lately she's wanted to grow it out and it looks very lovely. The mature look suits her very well. And I notice a lot that she tends to have a blank expression on her face. I find it very cute. While she was in high school, Kaede acted in school plays and also participated in activities such as swimming, basketball, soft tennis, and softball. Lately on the Twitter, she's taken an interest in the AI art stuff that's been going around. One of her childhood dreams was to fly in the sky, but saying a plane isn't quite what she meant. However, one year she visited the Saga Balloon Festival and rode a hot air balloon, achieving her dream. Inspiring. She has also expressed a big interest in bungee jumping. Despite all these high-flying dreams, she has said that she's actually kind of afraid of heights. She has become very close to Maki Kawase, mostly because of them working together many times with Zombieland Saga. At one point, after a trip together to Inoshima, they both changed their Twitter profile pictures with comments implying they were each other's best friends. The penultimate fact here is something I find really cool. Her Bofuri character has so many similarities to her that she asked the manga author if he thought of her while creating the character, but he assured her it was simply a crazy coincidence. Those similarities include the fact that Kaede used to have Maple as a nickname, and that Maple's real name is Kaede Honjo. And finally, she is the type of person to keep her earphones in when she's out in public or even going shopping so she can avoid conversation with other people. I have never related so much to a seiyu after hearing this. With that, we have reached the ending. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new about this absolutely beautiful lady. Please join me in the next one about a gorgeous bug-eyed Onechan with another impressive resume. I look forward to seeing you there.